In this video, I show you how to use the My Tag feature in Rekordbox DJ with the P. Tagging system. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So in previous videos, I've gone over my tagging system, which you can see here in the comments section. I use these brackets and these keywords to kind of organize my music and make it really easy to pull up certain songs or certain kinds of songs that I'm looking for while I'm playing an open format set. If you'd like more information on that, I'll go ahead and link down below in the description the playlist that explains exactly how I organize my music using this tagging system, and I'll also include it in the YouTube card above as well. So once you get familiar with that tagging system, you'll notice that I do it in iTunes because in iTunes I'm able to access my music in not only Serato DJ, but back then Tractor as well. and in some regards a record box via using record buddy so I've been slowly getting more familiar with record box DJ and not only using it as DVS but also getting my whole library organized in a way that I can just use it on an actual just USB flash drive because in some situations especially here in Vegas maybe your laptop will overheat you know something like that or just as an emergency backup something's wrong with Serato box you never know so having a backup where I can just grab a jump drive and stick it right into the CD and be good to go and still be able to play at least a pretty consistent set and be familiar and just rock at least an hour or so with that until you know the issues with the Serato box or whatever might happen uh, gets resolved at least I, can, I know that I have a backup plan and I'm not just having to play a mix or having to play one song to another I can actually still complete my DJ set so going through that process I've become a little bit more familiar with the record box uh, export side of the software and one thing that I, I really liked and I've kind of picked up on is the use of the My Tag feature in Rekordbox DJ. So like I mentioned before, right here in the comment section, you see my tagging system. But if you go ahead and click right here on the right hand side, you'll notice this My Tag button. So I'll go ahead and open that up. So once you open this My Tag panel, you'll notice right here on the side, you can actually create your own tags and assign them to all your songs inside Rekordbox. So notice the usual ones are lowercase like this, but I've gone ahead and like used this plus sign on each section and created the tags that I usually use in my own tagging system, which you see here in the comments, and apply it to multiple songs in Rekordbox. So I'm basically transferring the songs from my system into Rekordbox using the my tag system in Rekordbox. So why is this helpful? I think this is really helpful because it makes it so much faster to tag all your music. So what you would do is, for instance, I've tagged most of my music, but for example, if I typed in R&B using my tagging system, I could go ahead and highlight all these songs, and then all I would have to do is go ahead and click the checkbox, and the tag would appear in the My Tag section. So let me open up the My Tag. Where is that thing? Right here. And you'll notice right here, in the My Tag section, R&B is added, but if I go ahead and unclick that, they all go away and just as fast if with all this music highlighted if I wanted to add a certain tag I could just click the box and it pops up say it's not just R&B it's rock for some reason go ahead and click that and it pops up as well so this makes it so fast to add music to a certain tag and makes it so much easier to you know add multiple tags very quickly so in the instance before when I was using iTunes I would go ahead and use the actual iTunes um, Doug scripts to go ahead and apply multiple tags to an actual group of tracks without having to worry about you know things getting overwritten because it makes it a little hard with just using iTunes. But the ability to use my tag inside Rekordbox DJ makes it really quick to just go ahead and you know select a bunch of songs that fit that criteria and go ahead and click the boxes that apply to those actual group of songs. So tagging songs is so much faster in Rekordbox than having to use iTunes and Doug scripts. So that's another reason why I'm actually thinking about, you know, making the move from mainly using Strata DJ to using Rekordbox DJ and DVS and on flash drives, just because my system of tagging music is so much faster using this my tag system. And not only that, but you can go ahead and, you know, use my entire system where you'd create a smart playlist, but they're called intelligent playlists in Rekordbox and go ahead and, and select my tag and contains the... I could type in party or whatever whatever tag that pops up and even even better is that it shows up in this drop down menu so it makes it that much faster to create not only 
the actual tagging system, but also to create the actual playlists as well. So if you're looking to use my tagging system and your Rekordbox DJ user, I would definitely try using the my tag feature instead of adding it in the comments and using iTunes and Doug scripts. It just streamlines the process and makes it so much faster. So that's a look at how to use the my tag feature in Rekordbox DJ with the PDOT tagging system. So question of the day, is this gonna speed up your Rekordbox workflow? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching PDOT TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.